welcome you all to another session that's going to be chapter number three video number two and it's going to be really an interesting one isn't it okay now grade six science is in front of you one more time water as a natural resource and here today we're going to see states of water little deeply we already know about it so what you will learn in this session further about states of water we're going to understand further about the states of water let's get into the subject Now, we already know that water exists in the states of solid, liquid and gas in the natural environment, don't we? We learned about it, right, in our previous session. Now, water in solid state, you can find water in solid states where ice, it's in front of you, snow, glaciers are some example for the solid state of water. I'm going to show that one to you. Now, water, see this is a glacier, definitely water in solid state. Glaciers can be seen in the southern and northern poles of the world. For a long, long time, these eyes are gone there and it has got like a rock. It is more than 1,000 years. More than 1,000 years. The ice is getting formed and it became like a rock over there. Yeah, it's going to be very cool out there. Now, you can see this one, water in solid state, another one. In some countries, snow can be seen in the winter season. Snow is also a solid state of water. That's quite cold outside there, right? Okay. And next one is water in liquid state. Let's see. The liquid state of water can be seen in lakes. Isn't it beautiful? And streams. You can see a stream there. And a little girl of your age is playing over there in the streams over there and I definitely also like to play in that water now that's a liquid state you can find beautiful rivers like this where the water is flowing and the tanks like Parakrama Samudra or Minneria of our Sri Lankan proud king's made tanks are known as liquid water reservoirs now Ponds you can find in Anuradhapura and Polonaru like this, don't we? We have a lot of ponds like this. And wells, we find wells in villages and you find beautiful seas and oceans in our country also. So, these are some of the liquid states of water. So, the word water in our language normally referred to water in liquid state, right? But there are solid water and the gas also. Now let's see water in gaseous states, water vapor, steam and water vapor are examples for the gaseous state of water. You see that steam is there, that is a water vapor, it's going away from this boiling pot. And then you can see the water vapor outside that glass, that's also a water. You catch that one, it's very cold and it will touch your hand and the cold water will come to your hand. Have you ever felt it? Okay. Now. In the environment, water is in the gas state, water vapor. Now, see, water exists in the atmosphere as what? Water vapor. Now, let's do the following activity to find out whether there is water vapor in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, whether there are water vapor or not, we're going to find out. Testing whether there is water vapor in the atmosphere. You will need a glass, some ice cubes, water a piece of cardboard just like this set up uh, an apparatus like that you want to have water ice cubes and you're putting the ice cubes inside the water and keeping your cardboard piece on top of the glass after sometimes what will happen let's see fill half of the glass with water once again observe the outer surface of the glass after sometimes after sometimes you're going to observe what outside yes now put some ice cube into the same glass and close it with the piece of cardboard Observe the outer surface of the glass after sometimes now. Now record your observation. And what are your conclusions? Let's see what's happening in this. Water vapor in the atmosphere condenses and can be seen on the outer surface of the glass. You see, it's coming out on top of the glass. You see that one. Okay, I'm animating that one to you. Hence, there is water vapor in the atmosphere. That's the reason that condensed 
atmosphere outside water vapor in the atmosphere condenses and can be seen on the outer surface of the glass so we came to know there is water vapor there in the atmosphere so now you know that further about states of water and we have water vapor in our environment even though we can't see it we came to know about it i'm going to meet you in another beautiful chapter of water as a natural resource of grade six science till then Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.